I would now like to talk to you about another common cause of an acute abdomen presenting to the emergency room, uh, that of diverticulitis. Patients with diverticulitis tend to present with left lower quadrant abdominal pain. They'll often have a fever and an elevated white count. Uh, they will often complain of a change in bowel habits. They can be constipated. In advanced cases, patients may have a palpable mass or fullness in the left lower quadrant, if, particularly if there's an associated abscess or phlegmon. Diverticula are small outpouchings in the bowel wall that develop most commonly within the colon. Risk factors include age, obesity, and low fiber diets period. They're these, this diet is particularly common in Western societies. The most common bowel to be involved is the colon, particularly the left colon. Diverticulitis occurs when the diverticula become infected. Often they're obstructed by uh, fecal material. Complications of diverticulitis include bowel perforation, abscess formation, and fistula formation. This is a diagram of a, a patient's colon. You can see on the left, normal colon with appendix, ascending colon, transverse colon, and descending colon. The right images show diagrammatic representations of diverticula, small little outpouchings of the uh, lumen from the colon. And here is a diverticula that has become infected and inflamed. There is adjacent bowel wall thickening and inflammatory tissue. Computed tomography is the imaging modality of choice for evaluation of diverticulitis, though findings may be seen on ultrasound as well, and I'll show you some examples of that. In uncomplicated diverticulitis on the CT scans, we will see bowel wall thickening. We will see inflammatory changes with stranding and increased density within the pericolonic fat. And in advanced cases, we can see a thick walled, peripherally enhancing fluid collection, often containing gas compatible with an abscess. These are images of a patient with uncomplicated diverticulitis. The upper images are an ultrasound performed on this patient of the sigmoid colon. The echogenic or brighter areas centrally within the colon is the mucosa. The hypochoic region is a thickened bowel wall. This transverse image reveals a diverticula, focal outpouching with thickening around the diverticulum compatible with diverticulitis. And this corresponds to CT images seen below. Uh, the patient was given positive contrast material with barium within the colon. You can see the lumen becomes narrowed here. The bowel wall is diffusely thickened. There are these barium filled outpouchings, diverticula, and then as opposed to the normal pericolonic fat, there are areas of increased density and stranding within the pericolonic fat compatible with inflammation. Often simple uh, or uncomplicated diverticulitis can be uh, diagnosed clinically and treated with antibiotics. CT scan is particularly helpful if there is concern for complications. Uh, these complications, as I mentioned, will occur, will include perforation, in which case we will see air and fluid outside the lumen of the bowel, abscess formation, and fistula formation, which can occur through the urinary bladder, other loops of bowel, or even in uh, extreme cases to the skin. These are two uh, images, CT images from patient with complicated diverticulitis. Again, oral contrast has been administered. You can see a thick-walled 
descending colon with adjacent inflammatory changes, and then multiple bubbles of non-contained gas outside the lumen of the bowel compatible with a perforation of the descending colon. Here's another case with ultrasound and CT. Ultrasound shows an irregular fluid collection in the central abdomen. Um, the CT scan shows a markedly thickened sigmoid colon, multiple small outpouchings filled with gas, compatible with diverticula, and then inflammatory changes. On an image further inferiorly in the pelvis, this is the urinary bladder and uterus, there is a rim-enhancing fluid collection, contains multiple bubbles of gas, findings compatible with an abscess. This abscess is sitting deep within the pelvis between the, in the potential space between the uterus and rectum. Colovesical fistula occurs when the inflammatory process decompresses through the urinary bladder. You will see colonic inflammation. On CT scan, you often see a fistula tract extending to the, to the urinary bladder, and you can see gas within the lumen of the uh, urinary bladder period. Patients will also often report the experience of passing air when they urinate, which can be a clinical sign of a colobesical fistula. This is a CT scan from Radiopedia. This is a coronal or frontal reconstructed image. Midline loop of bowel is sigmoid colon. It is markedly thickened. There are inflammatory changes adjacent to the sigmoid colon. You can see a linear tract extending from the sigmoid colon to the urinary bladder and there is thickening of the urinary bladder wall and these findings are all compatible with a colovesical fistula. So the treatment of diverticulitis as I mentioned mild or uncomplicated diverticulitis can often be treated with antibiotics often as an outpatient Persistent or severe cases or cases with absorbs formation or fistula formation often needed, need to be retreated with uh, surgical resection. Periodic, um, occasionally these surgeries are performed as a stage procedure with uh, a temporary diverting ostomy to allow the infection to resolve before the left colon is re-anastomosed.